Not all of our standards are for sale. Many of them are, um, are for free. We've got over 2,000 standards in our ca catalogs that our groups have, have produced. There are a number of them that um, we, we have developed the national and international standard after a great investment of resources on, on, on behalf of our members and behalf of the organization. So in those, um, the purchase opportunity is, is really just a way for us to recover our, our costs. Um, I expect that will change over time. We're, we're seeing a movement uh, to open and interoperable standards collaboratively, you know, col collaboratively done in different ways. Um, and as you make standards uh, much more quickly uh, to, to move with technology, that'll probably change. Um, so I don't think we're different than, than many organizations. Many organizations do provide the opportunity to purchase uh, standards. So that's not, not unique to TIA. Yeah, I know you work closely with Bixie. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that relationship? Yeah, I mean, we're, you know, and we have other relationships with organizations like Bixie. I mean, once you've developed the standards, you've got to do something with them, right? And so Bixie's a great partner of ours to work with us to, to implement training based on those standards. We do the same thing with PCIA, which represents the cellular tower um, uh, manuf uh, manufacturers. They do the training based on the standards that we develop. So we need those kinds of relationships um, because we don't have uh, the relationships at the worker level the way that those trade associations do. So great partnership.